Hey, what's up guys? I'm very excited to share with you how I built this DIY external monitor that I got from an old laptop. It could be a broken laptop as well, just as long as you have the screen working and I'm using right now as a secondary monitor for my laptop. So you can do that one as well not only for secondary monitor if you have other ideas like using this one at home for other projects you would really love to do this one especially if you're a diy guy look at this it's like an eco-friendly monitor come on let's go ahead and do it so this is the old laptop that we have it's acer it's been stuck for a long time already they took away the ram use it for other laptops even the hard drive they took away so let's try to open it up the hinges are broken, so there's a difficulty in opening it. There are cracks at the side. I think they dropped this one. It's a dead laptop and never get back to it again. So all we need to do is take out that LCD screen and use it. So this has already a crack on the side, so we're able to remove it easily. Now we're going to unscrew so that we can remove the LCD screen. Remove this one, then we slowly lift it up. We're going to unplug the cable at the back of the LCD screen. There you go. Then lift the screen up and make sure to take note of the numbers here, especially the model number of this laptop. Uh, it's either this one or uh, somewhere here. So we need to search for that on the internet so that we are going to buy a controller board for this screen. I betcha this is already okay. So let's go ahead to Amazon and type in LVDS controller board. Okay, there are examples right here right now. So I'm just going to show you. You can paste the numbers here so that it can give you a quick search for that. But I'm going to show you how you're going to look for this one. So I'll click this one. This is exactly for me. And you can see the description here. All right, there is the LP156WD. And if you're trying to go here, uh, you can see it is compatible with these models and except these ones. So make sure of that. In addition to this, you need to have a power adapter for uh, this controller board. So you're going to buy that one, or if you have at home, then no need to buy. If you're not sure of what you're buying here, just go ahead and uh, ask from the seller Try to read the comments on the product, okay? So this already arrived for me. This is how it looks like. We have HDMI, we have the DVI and the VGA. This is pretty cool. Try to get some of this as well because you're going to use this one to stand off those um, circuit boards. So you can kind of get this one from other devices or local store that you have there. So for me, I got this one from a casing of old computer sets. And another one that you got is a cardboard. Um, what do you call this one? Nobody's using this one. It's like a clipboard. So I'm going to use this one as the holder for this screen. Okay. Let's go and mark the holes so that we know where to drill because we need to um, screw those standoffs out there so that we can attach this screen to this clipboard. Okay. Can drill. Okay, on the other side, that's where we are going to mount the circuit board that we bought, or what we say the LVDS controller. So we're going to mark those ones and drill it as well. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is put on those standoffs. So I have a super glue, put in super glue so that once we have screwed this one, then it will be set there. So I'm just going to make sure that this is going to go deep. Glue, then standoffs, and repeat on every standoff, okay? Okay, that's quick. Now it's time to mount the controller board at the back. The next thing is 
I want to make sure that these wires are secure so they are not going to be easily cut off so I'm going to use an electrical tape so that I'm going to cover this one all together okay okay flip the board and it's time to mount the screen so this is how it will look like but before that we need to make sure that we plug in the cable wire at the back make sure to secure it with a tape as well so that it will be in tuck that if someone is going to pull it it will be a little bit harder okay it's time to flip this one like that and then mount time for this screen okay Well, look at that. That's how it looks like. Checking it. And on the other side is our controller board. So what we need here next is a stand so that it's going to be on top of a desk. Well, this can also be a portable one, you know? Who knows? Okay, let's go ahead and try this one. So back here, I have this tablet stand that I'm not using anymore. And we can use this one as a stand for that. Anyways, if you can be creative, you can build your own, but for me, it's already there. And I'm going to show you like, just like that. And you can adjust at the back. You can move this one. Hoorah, here's my laptop. Let's put things in place and try using this one. Okay, so of course we need HDMI cable. We need to plug it there. Okay, then we have the power, of course. We need to have power for this, so it's going to turn on. I have a USB hub because my laptop is only type C, so I need a hub where I plug that monitor. There you go. Voila. This is very good. Let's get a closer look here. You can see that clipboard is working nice. And like what I've said earlier, it looks like an eco friendly monitor. So you can always be creative on how you're going to use this one as long as you can make it stand hard. So there are a lot of things you can do with this. Like what I'm doing right now. I'm using it as a secondary monitor, but in some cases I'm thinking of using it on my Raspberry Pi. But it's up to you guys. Well, tell me what do you think about using this screen from old broken laptops? Is it worth it? Well, drop a comment down below. Tell me what do you think about it and if it's your first time here guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you have learned something from this video give this a thumbs up because it helps this channel grow help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers see you on my next video